In this video, I photograph a rock and have a rant. G'day. When I knew I was going to have a two week road trip along the uh, southeast coast of Victoria and up into New South Wales, I was quite pleased because the places I would be able to visit that I haven't been to for decades rarely get the chance to get to. I took along uh, my Fujifilm XC4 and the Tamron 18 to 300. I'm actually video on, on it right now. There were two rocks in particular <laughs> along the coast in New South Wales that I wanted to get. If you watched my previous video, you can see the uh, rock that I call uh, Hippo's Kissing and uh, very few people tell you how to get there. So in my last video, I told you how to get to that rock, showed you some photos of it. In this video, I'm going to Horsehead Rock, which is just north of Bermagui in New South. And I'll give you instructions of how to get there because once again, so many photographers go there, take photos, and they don't tell you how to actually get to the rock. And it can be quite difficult. So to save you from wasting a lot of time and effort, I'll let you know exactly how to get to the rock and uh, get the shots you want. Now Horsehead Rock should be easy to get to <laughs> but it's another one of these places where photographers just refuse to tell you where it is. One guy got so confused he thought Horsehead Rock which is just above Bermagui was the rock near Batemans Bay that I talked about in my last video. It was like way up. <laughs> so it was hard watching photographers on YouTube to figure out where it was, how to get there, what's the best route to take. So I'm going to make that all explained for you in this video. So there's the topographical map. It's a bit north of Bermagui. Shows there Camel Rock Road, the car park at the end of it, Camel Rock down on the beach, and a bit further north, Horsehead Rock. So just drive to the end of Camel Rock Road. Very easy to get to. Any uh, Google map system or or a map system in your car will be able to direct you to Camel Rock Road north of Bermagui. Park in the car park, simple walk then down to the beach to uh, have a view of Camel Rock. However, if you want to get to Horsehead Rock, <laughs> it's a different story. From the car park, there's a 750 metre walk to the viewing platform. Okay, so on my way to uh, photograph Horsehead Rock, just uh, outside Bermagui, parking the car park up there. There's a trail going off. If you stay in the car park and you just walk down to the beach, there's Camel Rock, Horsehead Rocks further down, 750 metre trail to the viewing platform. We'll see what we get when we get there. The viewing platform is still way up there on top of the cliff. <laughs> you can't get from the viewing platform to Horsehead Rock. Okay, so for all you gearheads, what do you actually need to do this? Well, considering you're out in the weather, uh, it's a long walk here and back. You might be carrying heavy gear. The first thing you need, water bottle. I'm not, I'm not kidding, you gotta keep your water level up. Keep hydrated, people. The second thing you should consider, a hat. Now obviously I need a hat when it's sunny, but even when it's not that sunny, I can get sunburnt. There's like many of you. So wear a hat, then choose your camera, then choose your lens, decent footwear. I was wearing thongs yesterday, but I uh, put on my boots today because I had no idea what I'd be tackling. So there you go. Wise up, take your water, wear a hat before you even look at your gear. However, it is a good vantage point to get a, uh, a nice photo of the rock and its environment there. If you then want to get down to the beach, to Horsehead Rock, you've already walked 750 metres from the car park. You don't want to have to walk all that way back. Uh, you can keep going. Go another five or 600 metres along to, uh, to the edge of a cliff. <laughs> and uh, sounds a bit weird. But yeah, when you get to the edge of that cliff, you then clamber down it. Okay, so I did walk to that grassy point I was talking about, and there is this path going down the cliff. 
So I'm going to try that. So I'm halfway down that bit. Now I've got this bit, which is okay, but the more gear you carry, like I got the full bag, tripod, water bottle, all the things you might need, it's not exactly a walk in the park. So if you've got a gummy leg or bad hips or something, don't think about it. Okay, that's the cliff. That's the beach. Horse Edge Rock, 100 metres that way. Okay, I scrambled down the cliff down there, walked along the beach, see my footprints. Here's Horse Edge Rock. You can get much closer, of course. Completely different angle than being up there on the cliff for the viewing platform. Don't try to come down here. If you can do it, it's worth it. A couple of provisos. Make sure you're fit enough to be able to do it. I'm getting near the limit. I'm getting a bit old now, you know. And do it at low tide. Check your tide before you come. Because at high tide, I'm standing in water. <laughs> okay, as simple as that. So, low tide, check your tides. Make sure you've got plenty of time to come in and out. And uh, have fun. All right, I've got a couple of shots from back there where my bag is. But now, I've come a lot closer because there's this little pool here with a rock ledge around it and then the horse head. So uh, I'm doing 20 second exposures. Now, a couple of points. Why am I shooting most of my photos in black and white? I am going to do a colour, but it's because a couple of videos ago I said play the cards you dealt with and today the only time I'm here basically is today. So I have to just take what I've got. And it's just overcast. The sky isn't much at all. Um, so I'm trying to get as much out of it, uh, the scene as I can, because there's no drama. Sunrise, I could have come here, but A, the sunrise was really flat, and B, it was high tide. Okay, photographed horse, horse head rock. This is the flank of it, here. And instead of going back the way I came, all the way there in that beach and up that cliff, I'm gonna try along the beach, see how that goes. Well, so far so good. Uh, lots of pebbles and rocks, and some other bigger rocks to uh, clamber around. See if I can make it. Okay, there are some uh, rockier parts to get to, but I'm hopeful. And uh, this is why you do it at low tide. Okay. Yeah, uh, so far so good. I think I'm gonna make it. Came through there, little bay here, and uh, more rocks and beach. I think it'll be all right. All right, made it. Uh, I think that's Camel Rock I'm behind it. And there's the beach, you can see a car park up there. So this is another way to get in. It is shorter. Come down to uh, Camel Rock, straight from the car park. Walk around all the rocks till we get to Horsehead Rock. Now, what, which one's better? At low tide, you can manage this. Um, but again, bring a water bottle, wear a hat, and decent footwear. <laughs> and not thongs like I normally do. Here's a photo of Camel Rock because uh, not many people photograph it, they go onto Horsehead Rock. So I'll give it a bit of love. So, mission accomplished. Horsehead Rock in the bag. Now, ham and cheese. I'm on holiday, I didn't have Vegemite, okay? Don't diss me. Why did I go to such lengths to show you how to get there and back? Because 
I watch numerous videos by photographers who've been to Horsehead Rock. None of them tell me how to get there. They just say it can be a bit steep or a bit difficult or something. Yeah, thanks a lot. <laughs> you don't own the place. You're allowed to tell people how to get there. So that's what I've done because uh, no one told me you had to find out the hard way. Uh, and I didn't need to. Tell people how to get to these places. Yeah, end of rent. If it's low tide, if you fit, if you got good shoes on, I'd say, yeah, go along the, the beach and the rocks, over the rocks to it. It's shorter <laughs> and take it easy and you'll be okay. But if the tide's in a bit, no, no. Go along that track, get to the lookout, go along another five, 600 meters around to the, that grassy point, clamber down the cliff. That's not easy, but if the tide's in or a bit high, then at least you'll be dry. So there you go. Pick up your camera, go for a walk and have some fun. Bye.